It has been nearly 100 years since Wright brother made our world flyable. Since then, we as a human has been seeking ways to fly in more variety of ways and to be honest, more efficiently. Electrostatic ionic propulsion sounds so science fiction because it doesn't have normal engine and doesn't need gasoline as fuel. But it's actually a reality. So today we're gonna see how ionic propulsion works in just two minutes. You might be hearing ionic propulsion as a new alternative for aircraft as it is a new technology. Well, it's not. It has been here since NASA introduced it in 1968 and it still is considered the most efficient and nature-friendly propulsion technique. An electrostatic ion engine works by ionizing a fuel which is often either xenon or argon gas. Ionizing means making the gas electrically charged by knocking off an electron to make a positive ion. After this, the positive ion diffuses into a region between two charged grids that contains an electrostatic field. Think the positive ion as ball that gets thrown away from aircraft because it's charged and when it does, it gives a push to the aircraft, meaning it accelerates the positive ion out of the engine and away from the spacecraft, thereby generating thrust. And to keep the whole aircraft neutral, there is a neutralizer that is being sprayed electrons into the exhaust at a rate that keeps the spacecraft electrically neutral. Although it's very efficient and eco-friendly, when it comes to make a great thrust to fly higher, we have failed to do so. Not because it is not capable of doing it, but we haven't been able to build a successful design for it, meaning a design fault. While there will be no doubt be more challenges to overcome as work proceeds in the further development of large-scale iron drives, I personally think we are not too far to see the first manned ionic propulsion aircraft. So until the next amazing video, keep hitting your blind spot.